8.7, we're going to do a little bit of an application to the square root property we've been learning all about. And so here's our scenario. We've got a zookeeper who is buying fencing to enclose a pen at the zoo. Now, the pen is an isosceles right triangle. So here you see that I have drawn for you a right triangle, okay, indicated right here. And isosceles just means that the legs are the same length. Two of the legs are the same length, and the third one is, is something different. Okay, that's what isosceles right triangle is. Now, there's already a fence on the side that borders the pack. So we already have fencing here. So I'm going to kind of squiggle through that so maybe you can imagine that to be your fence. And we need fencing on the other two sides. So we know that the area, they gave us the area, they said the area is 4,500 square feet. The zookeeper can buy the fencing in whole feet only. Whole feet only. Underline that twice because we need to, our attention to be dragged there. How many feet of fencing should he buy? Okay. So to get this started, I told you to remember how to find the area of a triangle. Okay. What you do is you do 0.5 times base times height. In a right angle, in a right triangle, Base and height are your two legs, okay? So you could say that's your base and this is your height or vice versa, it really doesn't matter in a right triangle, which one's the base, which one's the height, okay? Uh, the path, the side that's by the path is the hypotenuse and has no bearing on the formula for the area of a right triangle, okay? Now we know the area. They gave that to us as 4,500 square feet. And so we need to set that equal to 0.5 times x times x, okay? Now, x times x is x squared. So this is really 0.5 times x squared. And so this is a perfect setup to use the square root property. We have our square variable on one side and our constant number on the other. Almost, we need to move the 0.5 over to the other side. Beautiful. Okay, so now you should have x squared equals 9,000. Okay, because when you divide by 0.5, it's the same thing as multiplying by 2. So to get x squared by itself, we are going to take the square root of each side. And so we're going to have positive and negative versions of this. So when you take the square root of 9,000, you go ahead and do that in your calculator right now, you're going to end up with a decimal. And if you round to the tenth, you'll see that. Now, there's no such thing as negative feet, okay? You're, you're not going to go to a store and say, well, I need negative 10 feet of fencing. There's no such thing. You either buy 10 feet or you don't. You either buy a foot or you don't. Okay, so it's always positive increments. So we can safely eliminate the need for that negative quantity. We don't need that. We know that we are, we're going to need 94.9 feet. That's what X is. And that's one side. That's one side, right? But we need two sides occupied. So how do I handle that? What do I do with that 94 0.9. Well, I'm going to add them together. I need to find out why, how much do I need total. So just add it up. So let's do 94.9 times 2. And I'm going to end up with, with about 189.8. Now, I'm not going to go to the store and say, I need 189.8 feet of fencing. They're going to laugh at me. They're going to ask me to buy it in whole foot increments. So I need to round up to the next nearest whole foot, and that's what I'm going to purchase. So the next nearest whole foot is 190, and that's what I'm going to go to the store and purchase. That will safely fence in my right isosceles triangle. Okay? So anyway, there you go. I just did one for you. I'm going to leave this one as extra credit for you. Try it. I gave you the formula, how to plug it in. I even provided 
the area. So you can plug that in. See what you can do. Find out what the x is and um, round to the nearest foot. That's what it's telling you to do. Okay? So find the width of the front yard. And the front yard is right up here. Here's the front yard. Okay? So that means you, all you need to do is find the x. All right, bring your questions to class.